Hey guys, I wanted to give you a straight on look of the Hori Mini Pad for the Nintendo 64. Most videos don't really show it off clearly. Very nice looking controller. I got it in green because green's my favorite color. Even if I had to pay a bit extra for it, just because of the one color. These, these controllers are not that common anymore, um, which uh, is why they're so expensive. They were only released in Japan, from what I know, and uh, I think I paid about 47 or just under, say just under 50 uh, British pounds for this thing, but I think it's probably worth it in the end. Though I did get the Rafnet, the Rafnet adapter that plugs into the GameCube controller, which uh, you can actually program this thing, and uh, well, you kind of program. You can put in a series of uh, button combinations, and you'll be able to use your own um, button configuration. So there's reasons to get this thing, and there's reasons to get this. It just depends what you want. I have a controller. Um, are you like a purist? Uh, if you're a purist, you want might want to go for the Hori Mini Pad since it's a N64 specific controller. It's pretty well designed. You have like um, you have two Z buttons at the back, and you have L and R here. The stick is a uh, wider than the GameCube one. It's pretty comfortable to put your thumb on. It's a, I think I might have a thicker stock. I think it's just such a nice and well-made controller. It's, it's probably worth your money. Um, but only buy this if you can afford it, of course. Because you, you could pretty much buy four normal N64 controllers with the money you could spend on one of these. I say four or three controllers. It depends what colors you want. So yeah, that's my second review of the Hori Mini controller. You can check the other one which has my face in it, the other review on my channel, uh, Bad M Reviews. So, there you go guys, this is the Hori Mini Pad for Nintendo 64.